place in the group stages. Today we have Group D, and first match of this will be Power Rangers versus Rise Gaming. Power Rangers, of course, the heavily favorite team. But well, pretty much anybody I want to say they have uh, the odds on Ebed or what is it, 73 to 27 percent, and I think that's about right. Power Rangers Hello, should be the stronger team, and they should be able to take this one away. No, what do you think, Morality? I mean, they they are. Let's just put it in comparison to Rise Gaming. Um, so, an incredibly good team. They played in the tier. They played against team tier one man. teams already, and they haven't done that badly. Of course, um, they haven't done too well either. But you know, they held in there. They are invited to the qualifier, of course. And that's that's another thing. Yeah, of course. Our Rangers is like this team that can upset like the strongest team in the world, but sometimes just drops the ball a little bit. Versus the lesser known team, so we'll see. We'll see. And another Queen of Pain, of course. Uh, she, she had the mine and earth of five movement speed. Like, who's that going to affect? Nothing. It's going to affect nothing. So of course she's still going to be a top tier pick. It's not not a reason to indeed not pick her anymore. Like, huh? you'll you'll work with it. I mean, the Undying nerfs—they felt huge. They felt like they really hit Undying hard, and still. You're seeing him, he's one of the first bands, still one of the first bands, so people are still scared of him. Yeah. Although I'm guessing it's just because they haven't played the him enough. Yeah, they, maybe they haven't played him now. versus him in 6-4-B yet, which I'm sure they didn't because it came out last night. Yeah, it came out like last night. Yeah. <laughs> so I so think probably... this, this is like one of the first matches on 6-4-6.8-4-B. Oh. Yeah. Another change that was, which we should discuss about, was Five Gyrocopter was remain. robbed of like four intelligence, which is a not a negligible amount of intelligence. It's still pretty big. It's about fifty mana. Yeah. Good. Not like, yeah, it's not. Not that. It, it's, it's not. Yeah, you can. So it's not because of that. You're not going to pick him anymore. But you have to just look at your mana a management a little bit more. Can do that. It's fine. Yeah, and they ban out a phoenix, and they pick the bristleback, who has also been seeing a huge win, a huge pick ban rate in this latest patch. Yeah, it's just a brawler that keep on, can keep on fighting with pretty much no cooldown or so on any of his spells. It is... But I mean, he was already like that in the six point eight three. There wasn't really much oh, change yeah. done to him, I believe. No, it's it's more like every, all the other changes just make him a stronger hero. Yeah. So there you go, and. Of course, quill strikes are not something to be. It's something you have to be worried about. Also, another thing is, Five is that um, does he work well with Shadow Shaman? Does he work well with Zeus? Well, no, uh, Shadow Shaman is fine. But Shadow Shaman, as long as he can keep somebody locked down, he's Radiant good with anybody. Yeah, of course. And they pick up Power and just pick up a DK, which has been also a very good pick these last few patches. <laughs> this last patch, anyway. Yeah, with um, the new breed fire, yeah. Breed fire, new. Improved splash damage, it's good. It's a strong hero. I like it. I was I like the, the fact, hero. I, always, I like the fact that he's back in the meta now. It's something I different. I just like it that he's back because he's a dragon. Five seconds remain. There you go. Yeah, you are the Jakuro fan, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and like, and I, I just like those annoying red heroes and blue heroes. Another okay. thing is we should talk about the Broodmother ban now. I don't see Crush in Rise Gaming's uh, it might lineup. Cakes in, but did they, they, I know that they also pick it up when Crush is not there. But I know that Crush is like the big fan of that thing. Reason why they pick it up fairly regularly. So there you go. I mean, so I'm guessing it's more of a respect than here. Although Broodmother can be shut down. The thing yeah. is though, Earth, my, Earth, Earth, Earth Shaker wasn't picked or wasn't banned anywhere. So you know, Broodmother might have been just an instant Earth Shaker pickup on Power Ranger side. Might have been, fun. but let's see. Then you have an Earthshaker. Your your lane is going to be fairly weak with Chen in the jungle. Then, although it can uh, greatly, Thanks. you know, protect your hero very well. There's of course the problem that pick. it can also not <laughs> work out at all because he needs yeah. to get his levels. And once he, you're on the dual lane with him, he can actually be not that good. Yeah. Is the same thing. And they pick up a clink switch in the current lineup. I'm guessing he's going to be safe lane. Or, I don't know, you can either run Bristleback or Clinks in the offlane, but uh, with the Clinks, you're better off on the 
safe lane because he has a harder time getting CS and he needs it a little bit more than Bristleback who can just get easily back into the group, like stacking Asians or even neutral or normal neutral camps are fine for him. And there's a possibility that Klinks doesn't have, apart from Dark Pact, the Dark Pact, what was it again? Death Pact, hello me. He doesn't really have something to do anything about it. So yeah, this. So uh, I'm gonna assume that things gonna be in the safe lane for now. And they actually ban out the viper now. Yeah, they they need a mid laner. Yeah, I I, I can saw I saw your message. You're you're having heavy lags. Tell me when you're back. I I can hear you type. Just tell me when everything is uh, <clears throat> back to where it should be. Until then, I'll take it over solo. Just interrupt me when you're back. That's fine by me. Of course, I'm gonna get some coffee. Right, it anyway. And okay, an AA ban. Yeah, they want to get out this global with Zeus together with the Klings. They can just go over the map with Klings, Invis, put out the Tentacles Wrath, follow it up with AA Bless, and then Klings start hitting on them. It should be an easy kill. And if he gets like an early orc yet, Queen of Pain is actually in a lot of trouble. Like Chen, he won't be able to win versus the Kling. Kling should be able to snipe him out a couple of times, maybe even early in, into the jungle rotation and get him. And yeah. Rubik, hell. Rubik, pretty much the same, especially if he gets an orchid. Rubik can do a lot. DK and Copper a little bit harder without the orchid. I don't think DK is really a target he will go on anyway without without well, any items. Power Rangers is most likely going to be looking at a safe lane, maybe? I, I, was, I kind of think that Cop is going to be in the off lane for them. Okay, my uh, co-caster is currently resetting the, his uh, <laughs> his router, so we'll wait for that a little bit. The AA price game, they do have some time left. Same for Power Rangers, so we'll see what they're going to be picking up. Uh, they are n currently... I wouldn't say that they maybe need another support. Dazzle. Yeah, there you go. They're gonna pick up the Dazzle. Great synergy with the Bristleback. The, the, just all of that armor that can be thrown on Bristleback is just so good. And they're gonna be responding back with... Uh, Dirty Raw is Draw Ranger. That's a pretty good strong pickup here. They already have... What is it? Three other ranged heroes. Well, but how to help out the Queen of Pain a lot as well. And, uh, it doesn't essentially need it for jungling. But it's always nice to have a little bit more damage. And let's just look at this lineup right now. I just saw something drawn out on the map there by Chen into his own jungle. But we'll leave it at that. Dirty Raw on PR on the Dyer side is going to be playing the Dr Ranger. King R is going to be playing the Rubik. Sunlight, the Stand is going to be play, playing the DK. We have Cheshire Cat playing the Chen. And last but not least, we have J4 and the Queen of Pain. We have a st well, I don't know who exactly the stand-ins are for Rise. I know they had a little bit of a shuffle, so I don't know who the actual stand-ins are and who just joined the team already. But we have Forgotten Fury, a Dutchman. So I like that myself, of course, because I am Dutch as well. I, uh, Timmy Mate, 333. Uh, oh, they're gonna be in a little bit of a. Oh, they see each other's in light. He's gonna get slowed. They leveled up Nesigo here. They're gonna slow him down. There's gonna be the. Shackles as well. This is going to be the first blood going the way of Kexin on the Dazzle. We have King on the Klings and we have Lair on the Shadow Shaman. I don't think I left anybody out here. No, I think I may have left out, yeah, Russ on the uh, Zeus. There you go. Now, that's the full lineup of Rice. Who is going to be playing on the Radiant side? Let's see how this is going to go and end up. Yeah, King Art. He's gonna lift him up. He's gonna throw him on the cliff. There you go. Lair is stuck on the cliff right now. He doesn't have anything. He has a mango and clarity and a ward. And he's not enjoying this one at all. <laughs> oh, man. I know this guy himself a little bit, but this is just too funny to see him up here. Good luck. Have fun, Kappa. He is stuck. <laughs> oh, man. You gotta watch your positioning when you're playing versus Rubik. And this is just <laughs> the exact reason why. Oh my my my! Well, <laughs> let's leave it at that for now. <laughs> oh my oh my! Let's just take a look at how the lanes are shaping up. Yeah, they're gonna be running dual lanes on the side of uh, of Rise. I don't know if they w were meant to be running dual lanes or maybe uh, aggressive try lane, but 
For now they're running, well, dual lane on top, a cliff lane, or whatever you want to call it here, at the river for, uh, for Lair. And on bot he clings his, okay, no, Lair's gonna bot now, and they're gonna be running dual lanes, as I said. See how we're gonna fare up here, King should be relatively fine versus J4, J4 can get a lot of harassment out, so he will have to look out a little bit. And I hope for him that he has something coming his way already, he doesn't. And now they're gonna go for God of Fury. There's gonna be the clap coming out. And this is gonna be a dead cake scene. They're also pulling back for God of Fury. They're gonna get greedy. They want both. And they should be able to get it. Cake is still standing here. He's gonna fall. And there you go. This is the other one. Also falling for God of Fury as well. This is a dual kill going the way of PR. Well played by them. And yeah. And broken. Oh my god. We have somebody in the chat here who, has, who was supposed to be playing with Rise Gaming, man. I guess she might have been a little bit late. The match has already started. I'm. I can't do anything about it. They have more matches today, so make sure that you can join in for them. They will be playing versus XPC and uh, Moscow 5, so they have a lot more to do right now. My co caster is still looking at this nice green patch of turf over here. He loves it. He loves his greenery, being Swiss and all. Oh man, he's having a tough time. Lair. Oh, oh no. I just saw him bottled rune. Oh, it's just on grass. He won't be able to gank with this. Let's see, King R. He's gonna look for something here. Maybe on Forgotten Fury and Cakes in. Oh, he's just gonna go to lane and support our dirty raw. Late game scenario. I wanna say BR at the moment. The drawers should be able to carry, out carry all of them. I think it's a little stronger than the clinks, so we will see how it ends up. Really depends on a little bit on the mid game as well for PR, because their heroes really do come online about 20-25 minute mark, and then they should be able to start fighting a lot. Oh no, there are some stacks, already three stacks on Draw Ranger. Forgotten could have maybe dived this one a little bit, but he didn't know where King R was. Yes, you cat. Oh, he's having a good time here in the jungle. He got another sand tower. He's just gonna deny this measure, yeah. They're gonna smoke up and they're gonna look, go look at middle. They're gonna try and get grabs. Oh man. We'll see how this is gonna end up. Oh no, they're not. They're gonna top. They wanna shut down this lane again. They just wanna make sure that they don't get anything. There they go. They see Forgotten Fury. There's gonna be the sand tower stop. No! They're gonna leave him. They're gonna go for Gags. And he's gonna get lifted up into the sand tower stomp. He should be able to get off the grave. No, he won't. He will just get bursted down. And now Forgotten Fury will just walk it off. Another kill going the way of Cheshire Cat. I believe he's the second already. Yeah. Yeah. He's maybe gonna reverse the fast mech. That's usually built up there. Let's see if he goes mech first or maybe something else. Lair GG. He's taking some damage here from J4. A little bit of poison in the face. Taking him down to over half HP. Yeah, the Queen of Pain. He's not hitting a whole lot. Just plus 6 from the draw hour. That's not a lot. I don't think he has any set items apart from the magic ones, so... Oh man, this slow is so annoying on Forgotten Fury. This lane ward also from... Uh, Orange is actually helping them out quite a lot. I can see if they come in rotation and... Oh no, grabs. He was found out there. I'm gonna assume lift up into stun and breathe fire from the cooldowns. Yes, it is. That's what they use and that's how they kill them. But for J4, is actually having a good time. He's the same CS. As King, and he has actually less hit more times. And oh, this is a lot of damage coming against way already. Because Squishy, the Searing Arrow is doing a lot. As well as, of course, the, uh, the Nether Blast. No, Eater Shock, damn it. I haven't seen the, uh, what is it, Shadow Shaman in a long time, so. Sometimes I get a little bit rusty on the skills. I actually wonder who exactly Sunlight is. Might be a new player for PR, just a random stand in. I'm not completely sure. I think I saw him on Wiki. On the Wikipedia, so I think he's on it. Gonna Fury, he's gonna get slowed up a couple of times. We're gonna uh, do a little bit more damage to Dirty Raw, but Dirty Raw, he's, he's having a good time. 22 less hits already. He got three assists so far, and well, he's not gonna go. So gonna be stopped anytime soon. We are really getting away with his chance so far. He's been able to gank out there all the time, and. They just haven't stopped him, and they're just... Look at this slow for Gunner Fury, they're gonna pull him back as well. They keep on slowing him. Oh, there's the Grave just in time, but the Tornado is there, still slowing him as well. It's just his from Dirty Run, Net is there, and he's just gonna die to the Chen Tornado again. And it's already a triple kill going the way of Cheshire Cat, man, holy shit. Okay, they're gonna look for Sunlight here, Ledger G, he's hiding in this... 
the spot. He's walking out. He sees sunlight. He's gonna shackle him. There's a straight up the TP already from the Rubik. King R, he is in. He's gonna lift him up. He's gonna pull him back into the tower range. Sunlight is taking a lot of damage, but he's still able to survive here. Lair, he has some damage. He needs two more hits. Are they able to get it off? No, Breathfire is gonna miss. And oh, there's actually gonna be the death on Sunlight. King R, he walked in a little bit too far. He is still able to get at least a return kill onto Grass. And Forgetting Fury is still able to pick him up, however. So it's a 2 for 1 trade going the way of Rise Gaming. Good swing going their way as well with it. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Yeah, this is what they need. They need to be able to get some kills going because at the moment they're just not. They're not just not getting away with it. The arch is getting away with it. I mean, like if you have a gen jungle, you're you're gonna give up your lanes a little bit. Like they're gonna be a little bit weaker. He's not going to be able to rotate around all the time, and he's not gonna be there all the time to guard your uh, <coughs> carries or cores on the lane. So. Oh man, you gotta love coffee. It's actually quite, uh, quite, uh, pretty slow today. What do you guys? Who's gonna win? PR, Rice. Tell me what you think. Also, make sure that you uh, follow us on uh, Twitch. If you follow us, you are straight up into our, uh, <coughs> into our uh, well giveaway for our the Night Stalker bundle. I will give that one today to one of our followers. I will pick it at random. And that's actually all gonna be it about that. Just follow us on the on Twitch and then you're into it already. And there you go, they're gonna go after J4 right now. Or they just smoke up and they're looking for something else. Yeah, this is still gonna be J4. They should be able to see him right now. He's gonna walk underneath this Observer Ward of Rise Gaming. He's finding it up versus King. Oh, he uses a soaring. Okay, Death Practice used there. He's gonna get hexed up as well. Where's the shackle? There is the shackle. This should be more than enough damage to kill him off. There you go. Either, Either is gonna kill him off there by Lair. And Grass. He's gonna get stunned up by Sunlight. And that's actually gonna be all it. There's a delay on the sound. Let me check that real fast here. Um, opening up it as well. I'll wait for it a little bit to come into play. Oh, oh, and they're gonna go at it here in the jungle. They find Lair. He's gonna get lift up. He's gonna get pulled back. He's a pretty early grave coming out here from uh, Kaxin. And this will still be in the death of him. Fade Ball from King R able to kill him off. Now they're gonna rotate in four heroes here to take down this bottom tower of uh, Rise Gaming at the same time. Dirty Raw, he's a top. He's gonna try and look to take this tier one as well. Are they able to defend this one? They, do they have sentries right now? No, they have dust. And King R. Oh, King R. was just out of sight of this. We have two kings here, so it's a little bit hard. Gags in. Oh, no. They know he's here. Oh, what? Okay, they're walking all the way, but they found him now. There's going to be the dragon tail on him. And he's just going to die here with Fade Bolt. At the same time, of course, Dirty Raw is able to take the top tower as well. But it will just be an easy two towers. King, he takes off away one of the creeps of... Uh, of Chen here and Lair, he goes in, but he just gets completely stunned up here. Are they able to get, at least get Chester again? No, he, he's not. Okay, no, they do it with, with the Tugana goes right, but Grassy will still die for it. Another two kills going the way of PR together with two towers, and at the same time, Dirty Raj just pushing up this top tower. He has 2.4k already in his inventory. I'm gonna take it to one of our followers. I will pick it at random, and that's actually y'all gonna be it about that. Just follow us on the. Uh, sound seems to be okay for me. It might just be a little bit of internet. But we're streaming it at really high let, uh, P. Uh, I think it's like 1080 or something like that at the moment. Uh, we're looking into a sponsorship of Twitch right now. Once we have it, we will be. Uh, <coughs> we should be able to have like, the quality change then. And this is also going to be the tier 2 tower going the way of PR. Sunlight taking the last hit there on the DK. And look at it, 30 raw. He's still at top. He's just going to take this tower. Again, there's. No one in the vicinity right now to defend it. There is, of course, Forgotten Fury walking there right now. But will he be in time? 180. They do have a 45. Okay, they can deny it now if they want to. And I'm going to just assume they will. Dirty, he's, he's, yeah. Dirty, well, he's walking back. That's your cat, man. He's almost got his mecha now. DK, Sunlight. He got the Shadow Blade. Running up towards the Silver Edge. Oh no, he is getting found out. There's gonna be the axe and he just uses his Shadow Blade right now. And oh no. They don't have detection right now. He's just walking next to them. He's gonna stun up Lair. He's taking a lot of damage. Is he able to get off anything? Well, 
They're gonna get off something, but it's just a grave. He's trying to TP out and he's gonna make it in time. There are no follow-up stuns anymore. Oh, that was a close though. Good grave coming coming out there from Kexin. Man, PR is really taking this one away. Pop, he's building towards his. Uh, I'm gonna. Sh yeah, this should be an ag agonims. Sunlight, he almost got his strats now. Dirty Raw, he has uh, his Yasha coming up. Okay, for a bit of a break, I'll just keep on going for now. Uh, Dirty Raw, he is. He has his uh, Yasha together with Morbid Mask. Uh, I think it's gonna be Yasha, maybe together with HRD due to the buff on the uh, or the nerf or repair than me. <clears throat> on the uh, damn it, on the ma mask of madness. How the hell can I forget that one? That name. <laughs> they nerfed it down to seventy percent, seventeen percent movement speed. So I am back. Oh my god, morality man, how are you doing? You're back. Sound good. <sighs> Yeah, no, my right to, I believe, I was slightly DDoSed. Slightly. <laughs> you actually think you're important enough to get DDoSed? I'm not even sure. It's that my download was looking, was going haywire, and my upload was completely normal. And the only real thing that moment at the that, yeah, matters for you at the moment is, of course, download. That's the problem. Eh, yeah, well. You hey. want me to summarize what has been happening? Or, uh... The Power Rangers have been winning. Yeah, they've been able to push down two towers simultaneously, and uh, yeah, that's they're about to engage. Yeah, they're about to engage here as well. Larry's gonna get the hex up from J4. He's gonna get slowed as well. Brassy, oh, he's a little bit too forward. He's just gonna get nuked down here. Let's get off the shackle on J4, but he's just gonna stand up and kill down as well. Another kill going the way of Cheshire Cat. There's already four in the way of him. And yeah, yeah, no, Rise hasn't been able to punish PR with the Chen. Their lanes looked a little bit iffy and Lair GG was thrown up on the top uh, cliff there with the rune. Oh, well, there yeah. you go. Rubik's strength. Yeah, anyway. he, he started out with good luck, have fun, Kappa, because he was thrown up there. <laughs> I'm just going for all the items and they... Special, really. Yeah. yeah, they're gonna get rushed now. Sunlight, he's going for the Silver Edge. Like, what is it? The recipe is 300 more expensive yeah. now? Three hundred, about three hundred. No, two hundred. I'm not, not exactly sure. It is like, I want to say three hundred. That's rush for them, and ten thousand net worth difference. Oh dear. Yeah, they're just gonna, it's just gonna get run over right now. This is just gonna be tough for them to get back at it. Considering Chen already has a mech, the other, the, 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 considering one team has a mech and the other team doesn't, which is kind of crucial actually. Yeah, it will definitely help with the push as well. And the nuke damage from Rise at least will be a lot less because of it. I also have a force stuff already on King R. Uh, I believe we're having sound delay issues again. I checked it and I don't have it. Do you have it? I'm checking. I'll check quickly once the pause finishes. Um. Okay. But yeah, they're just, they're just getting items up on all the heroes on PR, like. I mean, here's the thing, if you really see how far the team is, just check their supports, and if their supports have good items, then and the other team support don't, then you know their team is farmed. Well, I think you can also look at the net worth, and when the top 5 yeah, heroes are from one team, that's also a good indicator. I mean, it's, it's like if you're playing a game, you look at your supports and you notice they don't have any good items, you look at the other supports and they have good items, then you can sort of say, are we doing well, are we doing badly, then yeah, you can sort of judge it from that. But right now, yeah, we can Team, Look at this, 14 Rice. minutes and they're already trying to break high ground here, they have, I believe Dirty Raya, he got the Aegis and they're gonna lose their creeps for this, but they will, go, they will get the tower, but they're just gonna back off, maybe if they follow them, we'll try and get something out of it, but... No, I don't know, they're gonna re-engage, because Rekma has a, has a Shadow Blade ready. No, they're just gonna walk back. Oh, no. They were just looking if somebody goes out of position, then jump it, but... No, Ryze is composed. Push, push yeah. But now they're just gonna farm up the enemy jump. Because they can, maybe. And yeah, they can just starve it down. So why not? Get yep. down wards everywhere. <laughs> and just completely control the map. Like, what, what, does, what does Rise Gaming have to do to get back from this? Like, they have an extremely farmed Dirty Raw on the Draw Ranger. Like, he's not gonna be stopped anytime soon. He's already 2500 gold more in his bank, so. Yeah. What do you think Rise has to do here? Like, what are their options? 
Yep, there is definitely a sound delay. Uh, oh yeah, Bryce, what they have to do is they have to win fights, and unfortunately, uh, the way it's looking is... It's gonna be tough for them to get back at it. I mean, just look at that, Dragon, that just... The rich wiped out Shadow Shaman. Oh, I didn't look at it, I'm sorry about that. I was checking my, uh... OBS to see if they said everything, but at the moment everything is perfect there, so I'm just gonna lower the settings and Ooh. might want to restart the game before the next game starts. Yeah, we'll figure something out then. Yeah, we'll restart the it. and Queen of Pain he gets Zeus. Uh, grabs is dead again. Already five kills. Completely stomping over the, the Rise gaming here. Zeus doesn't have anything considerable items. He's still got level one ult, which isn't going to do much. In fact, I think the highest level on the on the side of Rise is the yeah, the Clink's level ten, and his items aren't considerably good. He does have two thousand three hundred gold, about about two thousand two hundred fifty gold stored up. Ah, now look at this. Yeah, they're just going to go in here. They they got necro boots and tonight. Oh, he's actually stuck oh. in the warty. That's pretty nice, but he can just you know get out yeah, of there as well. And, oh, they stole the wards! The wards are down now as well for the side of PR. Look at the damage they're doing to the tower here. Oh, oh my god. god. And now they, now they have to focus on killing the wards, which they're gonna, go, we're gonna get, but still. Yeah. Maybe King R should have used his wards to destroy the other wards. But it's fine. Well, they want to get those melee wrecks, but unfortunately yeah. they weren't able to, so they're gonna regen up. They did get some damage on the range wrecks, though, so at least there's that going for them, which is nice. Oh, Silver Edge is already coming for sunlight here. And oh, that's 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 gonna spell doom for Bristol back. Yep. And there you go. Now Cheshire Cat is here. He has his uh, his army of creeps to be thrown in the front line. He went for most of the auras, I want to say. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. I mean, uh, right now it's no, it's not, it's no longer about stuns. It's no longer about ganks. It's more about trying to keep your team supported with these damage hours, with the attack speed hours, with the uh, what's what's the bear? Yeah, with the, the, the exact. God damn it. I'm missing one of the arrows. Anyway, yeah, with all the arrows, it's gonna be it's, it's, it's a logical choice. Speed arrow, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, I will see if they're able to defend this now. There's gonna be the mech there, Pop. They're gonna get the range wreck first here for BR. They eat up one of the creeps again, and ooh, Dirt War is actually fairly, fairly low on HP, but he still has the Aegis. And oh no, for God of War, he's getting initiated on. He's Aww. just gonna get bursted down. Turn because what is used, but they just heal up with the hand of God again. And now they'll just walk in again with Forget the Fury down on the Bristleback. They're a little bit of trouble. There, oh, he's gonna take the fall here as well. Oh no, he is not. <coughs> the timely uh, lightning arc there, stopping it. Yeah, but they still managed to take mid Rex and the Bristleback, which is for, 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 what, for what was the cost? Creeps? Yeah, that, that's worth it. So even if you didn't get the support, who cares? It's fine, it's just all about the zoning. And well, Aegis is gonna be reclaimed though, but. I mean, even if you didn't have. Even if you would have to use Aegis, I mean, it's still value. They used the Aegis to push not only. Let's say they used with the quotation tier. To not only push a tier 3, but also a tier. But also two sets of racks. Uh, one set of racks, so. Value. Yeah. Value Aegis. NPR, they just wanna end it right now. They bought up uh, BK Beyond's row. They just wanna push in the next wave and just uh, end it. Oh my, a BKB of Jero. Well then. This early just means that they just want to fight it and just end the game. Yeah. Just, you know, make sure that Jero can't get bursted down. And look at this, it's just like, no, that's exactly what they're doing. All they're doing is they're uh, seeking out the individuals that are trying to farm and then completely wiping them out. Yeah, if you don't walk as five on the side of rise, you're just dead and there's nothing they really can do right now. They're really far behind, over f almost 20k gold already, you know, just over 10k XP. At this point you can say the match is, the, the Rise will probably not win this. We, we, yeah, it's, it's just... They're just holding on and don't, and they just don't want to lose yet, they don't want to be out of it. Okay, there was a little bit of a misclick, well, it's fine, nobody's mad. I mean, Rise have to pull off some kind of miracle, and that miracle involves having a slightly more farm than they have right now. But even if they can stick out for 30 more minutes, PR is gonna win this late game. Yeah, Their of cores course. are just stronger than the cores of Rise. I mean, the Clinks and the Bristleback? Is that really so good against a Dragon Knight, against a Drow, against. Well, Rubik, you can steal everything. Yeah, they even have a Queen of Pain that can burst down pretty much anybody. 
That's just gonna be the gust, keeping them out, preventing them from doing any spells, and there you go. He's just gonna go after the range here. He's already down half health. We're gonna fear each to walk a little bit forward, but straight up get versus J4. He's taking a lot of damage, he's gonna blink out of oh. here. Very low. Dragon Tail is there, keeping them out. We're gonna fear almost dead. They do have a mech now. What the hell is a mech on their team? Get I don't know. Get oh, Lair, he was too far forward. He's gonna lift, lift up, put back, and he's gonna die here. The fate bolt of King R. They managed to pop together a mech. No, they don't. They don't have a mech. And there's the GG. I didn't see any mech. Didn't yeah, see they do it. Forgot oh, Fury after one. But yeah, another two deaths, and this is gonna be the first match of today. Really fast. Going the way of PR, which is probably be uh, to be expected. Yeah, well. They are invited to the qualifiers, I think that does speak for something. Yeah. Well, they, they show their strength here, they flex a little bit of muscle and Ryze just crumbles. Well then, I, I do believe Ryze was playing with like... Uh... I don't know who these are stand is. I even had somebody in the chat saying that he has, was supposed to be playing with them right now, so... I don't know. <laughs> well, I think GG for uh, PR. Thank you sponsors, Ibetal. Uh, HyperX, Intel, and of course, last but not least, see how I'm stalling it here, I'm also getting an S1, of course, that's uh, Republic of Gamers, Aces. Uh, Wait, for and we'll be back for the next match then, <laughs> which will be uh, at about, which will be uh, three. 25 minutes uh, between XPC and Power Rangers. We'll see you guys then.